It's a group of antibiotic. It's a group of antibiotic. Okay. Obtained from. Obtained from the molds. That is your penicillium. Okay. Molds penicillium. Now, uh, that is a common uh, definition of penicillin. So, example, you have a natural penicillin, penicillin G, penicillin G, but it is given in intravenous form, okay, it is not given in orally, uh, where penicillin V, penicillin V, it is given orally. Now, there are other penicillin like you have a procaine penicillin procaine uh, penicillin and uh, benzathin benzathin penicillin that can be given to intramuscular root okay so this is the thing so now this penicillin uh, I have discussed already the mechanism of action in our earlier video, okay, so please refer to those videos. Now the penicillin G, the uh, structure, if you see, this contain a beta lactam, okay, then you have thiazolidin ring, then 2-methyl carboxylic acid, then you have an NH, then CO, then you have uh, alpha CH2, and then you have the phenyl structure. Phenyl, okay. This is the structure of your penicillin G. Okay, this is natural penicillin. But if I want to synthesize this natural penicillin, I would like to, or uh, other analogs of penicillin, okay, I'd like to have this particular portion okay to uh, synthesize the remaining part of penicillin so this particular portion is obtained from the penicillin only the penicillin molds that's your six amino why six because i will just write it down the structure so if you this is the structure with coh okay so if you see if I write as a bridge cyclic system, okay, this is bridge. So I'll be starting with the numbering over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is known as six APA. APA. What is APA? Six amino penicillinic acid. Okay, if I write over here, six amino penny acid. Now why we prefer to have this particular moiety every time to synthesize penicillin? That is the reason. Okay. Now you have one more type of numbering when we are talking about fused ring. This is I have given the numbering as per bridge cyclic. Okay. This is as per bridge cyclic. Okay. Bridged cyclic structure but over here it is you no know, I am giving a numbering as far you know the fused ring fused so fused ring they start with sulfur okay because in fused ring the numbering is OSN okay sulfur one then I have two then three then four then remaining five six seven is same okay so this is the difference when I uh, go for IUPAC uh, you know, I back I follow bridge cyclic, but in GPAC they ask bridge cyclic. Okay, if it is fused also, but then you have to know the numbering properly. So now after that, why I prefer six APA to synthesize all kind of penicillin derivative because the stereochemistry. The six APA. Okay, if I follow bridge cyclic, okay, bridge cyclic, then the stereochemistry is preferred. 2s 5r 6r 2s 5r 6r 
So if this is not present in the penicillin, then it is not active therapeutically. So that's why 6 APA we take from the natural you know, uh, sources and then we can modify this particular side chain to get a better version of penicillin. Okay? Now after that, if I go ahead, uh, we have to know that why penicillin G given IV not orally? Because penicillin G can be degraded by the acid, the GIT acid. The degraded product of penicillin G is known as uh, let me just write over here. So degraded product of penicillin. So let me write on top. Now why the penicillin G? Since it's a natural penicillin given only in form of IV, why not oral? Just because the penicillin G, penicillin G, can be degraded by the acid, okay, to penicillinic acid, which is inactive, which is inactive, okay, and then you have degradation by beta lactamase that if you remember our earlier uh, video on uh, uh, beta lactam over here i mentioned the hydrolysis of uh, penicillin or hydrolysis of beta lactam okay so beta lactam is produce again inactive compound that is penicilloic acid so you can refer the structure from internet okay this is also can be asked in gpat so now uh, so what to do to how to overcome so we have two challenges we have to overcome the you know the acid stability and we have to overcome also the you know um, the stability you can say on the, from the beta lactamase so now uh, if i want to create acid stable penicillin okay acid stable penicillin so acid stable penicillin i can introduce in an alpha position okay one amino group this amine group, what happened? In presence of acid, they get protonated. In presence of acid, they get they get protonated, and this protonated form, this protonated form, can repel the H plus. So when this molecule repelling H plus, it cannot uh, destroy this molecule. Okay. So this amino penicillin, the for you know introduction of amine group makes the penicillin acid stable and that's known as ampicillin okay it is acid stable and also uh, it prevent the attack by this carbonyl group to this carbonyl group means you know in an acidic media uh, this oxygen can attack to this particular carbonyl functional group that just you must you know uh, you know there is no much uh, mechanism or action is important for GPAN. So this kind of attack is possible when there is an acidic pH. So when there is an electron withdrawing group, so there is a possibility this attack also is reduced. Okay. So this is amino penicillin. The next penicillin is if you introduce an para hydroxy group. So it's known as that time amoxicillin. That time it is known as amoxicillin. So this is acid stable penicillin now the acid stable penicillin is one problem is uh, they are acid stable but they are not beta lactamase resistant okay in that case we have to give